I've tested countless AI tools and Notebook LM is one of my all time favorites and Google seems to keep adding new features like the more recent mind map feature that creates a mind map based off all the sources of information that you put into your notebook. This is an absolutely game changer. And in this video, I'm going to show you five incredible ways I use mind maps and how these use cases can change how you research, create and consume content as well as plan things out. The first use case I wanna show you is planning things out. This is absolutely incredible. So we are on YouTube, I have best things to do in Japan and we can kind of scroll through and you can see these videos, some are like 13 minutes, some are 14. We have this one that's 25. I have all these different ranging length videos. So we can come back, we can throw them all in a notebook like this and we now have a bunch of videos that would be a very long time to watch them all. And you can see these are like things to do in Japan for a trip that I am planning for this summer. And here we have this thing called mind map. So we can click that and it will start generating a mind map for us. And it's going to pull out all the best and most important things out of all these different videos. It's going to condense them all, give them bullet points and basically make it really easy to consume all this content and jump back to different videos at any point based off what we need. So now we can click our mind map, we can click and drag around as you can see, and we can use the cursor to move in and out, zoom in and out, and now we can see a overview of all the different things from our Japan travel. So over here, we have key destinations. So we can click that and we can see all the different places we can visit in Japan. And if we click one, it expands out even further. And it is absolutely crazy how fast this thing is based off hours and hours of videos. So we're able to quickly start researching about a new place and say, hey, here's all the videos, check out all these and create a mind map for me. And now we can quickly see, okay, what are the best places to see? How are we gonna do transit? How are we gonna get around when we're there? All right, so what's the deal with this bullet train? We can actually click that. We can minimize our mind map and it is going to go through the videos. It is our traditional notebook LM that is absolutely incredible. And it's going to bring up the timestamps from all these different videos and we can quickly go through and we can click one. It'll bring us to the snippet of the video, but here is our summary based off transportation. And at any point at the bottom here, just where my head is and let me move myself out of the way, we can click here and we can see our mind map and we can go jump back into it. So within like Tokyo, we can see all the different places and we can kind of keep expanding this out. And it is absolutely insane how big our mind map is and we can kind of zoom out and you can see it all, it's crazy. And that is just the first use case that we're covering in this video. I'm gonna cover a bunch more that are super useful. And if you enjoy content like this, you enjoy AI content in general, don't forget to subscribe. It is completely free and I cover AI on a daily basis so you can stay up to date with everything AI. So just take a moment, go click the subscribe and let's continue to the next use case. The next way of using this tool is from a content content creator perspective. So I'm on my YouTube channel here and we can copy a bunch of videos into a notebook like this, and then we can generate a mind map. And when we have our mind map, we can actually go through all the different videos and get a breakdown of what's important and what is not important. So think from the perspective of trying to look at a competitor's channel or someone that's doing something, maybe they're putting out tweets or Pinterest, pins that are look really good, you can kind of copy these all in and say, okay, what is the most important things in my industry, in my business, and what can I cover cutting out all the fat, cutting out all the extra stuff. So we can kind of quickly see all the different examples that I did from my VO video or the AI video editing with the flow, Google flow. We can kind of see everything in one spot and we can see the creation methods. We can say, okay, this video worked, what did I do? What order did I put them in? How did this work? Maybe you have a video script or a blog post or a presentation. Copy your text, put it into Notebook LM, create a mind map, and it will flow out all the important stuff for you. And you can see if your script is really getting through the message that you want from a social media perspective, from a content creator perspective, are you getting out the message that you really want? This mind map tool is fantastic for that.
The next use case I wanna show you is board meeting minutes. So I have this PDF here. Honestly, I don't know who it's from, but we have created a mind map on their board minutes. So we can kind of see who was in attendance. That's what they started with. They went through in attendance, absent staff, and then we eventually went to agenda items. And check this out. We have no idea who this is, we just have their minutes here. It is a super long PDF and we just pop this into Notebook LM and we can see exactly what they covered. We can see the different parts of what they covered and all the different things that were important to their meeting in just like mere seconds. And then we can kind of click one and jump back to it in Notebook LM. Think from a business perspective, you can pop in your meeting notes, you can pop in different PDFs, different things that are important to your business, to your work, and it will create a nice mind map diagram for you of all the important things, all the things you have to know, all the important things you have to cover with getting rid of all the unnecessary parts because the mind map is just kind of like the nice big overview and you can kind of cut out all the extras you don't need. The next use case example is an interesting one. So this is the Karen Reed trial and there is a ton of links in here and I have made a mind map of the trial. So we can kind of see the key individuals. We can kind of go through it. We can see who's related to different people. We can scroll down. We can see a timeline of events and we can actually see in order. So this was January 28th in the evening and then 12 a.m., early a.m. and then the scene search and it goes through everything for you, part of the case. Maybe you're just interested in legal cases like my wife Dana is, or maybe you just want to know your rights. Maybe you're just fascinated. Maybe you just want to organize evidence or you want to put in a big, massive legal PDF and you kind of want to quickly go through it. This is such a great tool for doing that. So obviously you can prompt through and ask a questions or you can just say, okay, what are the big points, the big ideas? Maybe you're leasing a place. Maybe you want to figure out something in regards to the law. This is just another amazing way of using the mind map tool. Last use case I want to show you is from a research project perspective. So we have this mind map here called yellow fever vaccine. We have some different sources here. This is really cool because you can see the relationship between different parts, different research that is happening and what different perspectives are. So let's see booster doses. We can see, okay, single dose provides long lasting protection for most. And then we can see the recommendation in 2015 and consideration for additional doses. We can click this and boom, it gives us more information and we can quickly go through and grasp different really complex topics in a really simple way. And of course we can click any of these. It will bring us to the source and we can start reading directly from a good source of information and gather all the information we need. So from a research perspective, breaking down a really complex topic and then saying, hey, how does this all work? We can actually do that with a mind mapping tool. We can also click up here, which is a download, and this will download it as a PNG file. And it is based off whatever you have on your screen at the given time in the bottom right under me, I'll just move myself over. We can see the subtract and plus. And again, this tool will only work for the desktop version. So if you have the mobile app, you cannot use mind maps as of the date of this recording at the time that this will be published. It probably won't be available on your mobile app. You have to use a desktop, but it is such a powerful tool. And these are just some of the ways that I am using it. And if you have a different way that is really cool, please leave a comment down below so you can share it out with others. And if you enjoy content like this, again, please subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis and I will keep you up to date with everything that is happening in the AI world that is changing so rapidly, so quickly. If you enjoy content like this, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It tells the YouTube algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free, just come and see at FranklinAI.com where you're meant to be.